Today we are looking at a solution to a problem that has been annoying me for some time now. The Sunlu S2 drying has the worst design stand I've ever seen, it tips over all the time. We will look at this replacement stand that you can 3D print and never have the dryer tip over again. The new stand is designed to support the dryer evenly in both directions, I've incorporated support gussets into the design to ensure the legs don't just snap off if mistreated. The finished print should have everything needed to fit the Sunlu S2 dryer. Disconnect the power cable and undo the two screws holding the existing stand in place. Remove the two screws holding the fan to the stand as well. There are mounting points provided for the fan and the fan is offset so the stand will only go on one way. Screw the fan onto the new stand using the two original screws. Present the new stand to the dryer, make sure the fan cable is out of the way when reassembling the dryer. Flip the dryer over and use the two original screws to affix the new stand to the dryer. That's it, pretty simple process to change the dryer from Mr. Tipsy to Mr. Stable. It fits the dryer well and after a while you probably won't even remember that it was the worst aspect of the dryer you purchased. If you don't want it to slide over your smooth workbench you can add some rubber anti-slip feet to the underside. Now for those who would like to understand the prototype process for reverse engineering the new stand, I've included some video of how I refined the design. After taking measurements, I would produce a cutaway version of the model for the area that interfaced with the dryer. I would test it for fit and make adjustments to the CAD model until the fit was good. I tested the fitment of the fan screws and adjusted the holes until it was just right. There were approximately 4 test prints that I made before printing the final model. I used up some scrap filament, sometimes having to add different color filament to finish the print, it's a good way to use up leftover filament. Once I was happy with the fitment of the prototype I then printed the final design. I hope you like it and it solves the same annoying problem for you. The files are available on Maker World.